a series for you, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, because now I get to wear this, which I love. And I've got the lining, yeah, so, and I've got cool boots. I love this, co I, I mean, I've, I've loved every costume, but I think this is the, the coolest one. The doctor's getting rather dapper. Yeah, yeah, although he would never, he, he would never choose to be dapper. No, no, no. It just, just by default, some, somehow, it, it's tailored and turned out quite nice. <laughs> I've loved your costume, Joe. I know. Yeah, Howard's done a really good job, and it's mm. kind of, you know I kind of get to change every single episode, which is which is nice. That watchy thing breaks sometimes. Oh doesn't yeah. It? See, this is um, this See, look, is kind these of these are the details that Howard goes know, to. Look, look, all different, all different watches, and all different, you know, for different times. Mm. The Doctor's a very iconic figure, and when I first came into the series, um, we had an established look for the Doctor. Um, but as subsequent episodes came in, I was told that we could actually change the look. And it was a very, um, quite, in, quite intense process to actually sort of make sure that everyone was happy. Even on the 11th hour, um, we, when we were filming on the new look of the jacket, I, I did get a call at about 11.30 the night before with a concern. Um, and I said, well, look, let's, let's just see, because if, if it doesn't work, fine, we'll keep, we'll keep the old look. It's not, it's not a problem, it's not an issue. And um, everyone came, the execs were all there, and Matt walked on set in his new look and put the, put the coat on, and suddenly uh, there was a whisper in the back of my ear, yeah, yeah, that's, that's going to work. So, yeah, it was, it was a, nervous. And obviously we were waiting to find out what the response was from you know, the fans. I think we nailed it. And it's almost gone full circle to the, the look that we had with Hartman at, at the very beginning. Matt in particular, he's got to have pockets big enough for the sonic screwdriver and, you know, all this. And I mean, he's a lot of action and he's obviously sort of, you know, running about all the time. And with Jenna, Jenna's costume, I mean, she's running up the stairs, she's always on a motorbike. You've got to be careful from a sort of decorum point of view that, you know, you're not showing too much or too less. Certainly with Jenna in particular, with her character, a lot of things were actually sort of high street purchased. Um, so put together with other bits and pieces, that's where you sort of establish the look, really. For Jenna to try and give her a look per episode is, is, is what we try and achieve. And with Matt, we'll make subtle differences with his bow tie and his waistcoat. But now we have his new iconic look. I, I mean, that's the one that we're sort of happy with. Obviously, Matt I inherited, but he's now, he's now my Matt. Um, but probably the one I remember from a visual would probably be the Tom Baker. And I actually, when I started at the BBC as an assistant, I worked with a costume designer called June Hudson. And I think she was responsible for that, that look. And I, I had a Christmas card this year saying um, that she'd seen some of the work that I was doing and how proud she was, which I thought was fantastic. So we've sort of gone full circle. But I, I'm very, uh, I think his was, again, one of the strongest of the images.